session three, class number three. John 3.16 that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Amen. Man, we remember this verse this week more than ever as, as we remember the life of Jesus, as we remember the sacrifice that God made, and as we remember the key words that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God doesn't want anybody to perish, anybody at all. So we're thinking today about our neighbors, we're thinking about our classmates, we're thinking about our loved ones that might be away from Jesus, that haven't experienced the sense of eternal life with Jesus. And we pray together um, that they will come to know the Lord. I believe that there's a special anointing this week for us to communicate the gospel. It's reminded. It's everywhere. Everybody's thinking about Easter. They're thinking about the eggs and the bunnies. And uh, today we get to, uh, uh, and this week, we get to really focus on uh, what's this all about. You might have a neighbor that's uh, hiding eggs in their backyard and giving baskets um, um, to their kids. But but really, um, what are we celebrating? And it's an amazing opportunity for us to pray for them, for us to be able to communicate the life of Jesus, and, and, and for us to all be reminded and to remind people that God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. So we remember the life of Jesus and his goodness and his mercies. And um, yeah, we just are going to pray together and we're going to look towards um, towards Easter, towards his resurrection. So Tim, would you pray for us? Lord, we just thank you uh, for this week that we get to focus on what you've done for us. I know we do it all year long, but it's a special time at Easter to be reminded, God, that you gave your life for us. You did it all for us. And we just pray, God, that uh, for those of us that have friends and loved ones that aren't following you, Lord, we pray that that they would feel uh, the tug in their own hearts, that they need to find the Savior, they need to find their Creator, and to start a relationship with Him. So, Lord, we pray for each of those people that your Holy Spirit would speak to them and would draw them to you. And I just pray for each person listening today, God, that you'd be at work in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. All right. Thank Kari. you all for joining us. Can I let's hand it to Kari because she's got yeah. some things to say. I, I have I don't have things to say, <laughs> but I gotta get my glasses on so I can see. We're gonna end this live. There, I can see y'all. All right. We're not gonna go through because I don't want to lose internet connection again and we're about to go under a bridge. So I just hope you all have an awesome Tuesday and God bless you. Um, share the gospel with someone you love. Pray for them. God is good to us. Amen. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.